Good morning, students. In this video, you are going to learn about occupational therapy in mental health. The objectives are students will be able to define occupational therapy, enumerate the goals of occupational therapy, list down the indications of occupational therapy, Enlist the aims of occupational therapy. Enlist the settings in which occupational therapy is provided. Appreciate the various occupational therapy services. Classify the types of occupational therapy. Explain the process of occupational therapy intervention. Discuss the occupational therapy activities provided for different conditions and explain the nurse's role in occupational therapy. Occupational therapy, OT, is the use of particular activities as an aid to recover, improve from physical or mental illness as well as maintain the skills needed for daily living and working. Mental health is a component of all OT interventions, treatment and prevention services and are carried out with a focus on function, independence, and maintain contact with reality. How do you define occupational therapy? Occupational therapy is defined as the application of goal-oriented and purposeful activity in the assessment and treatment of individuals with psychological, physical, or developmental disabilities. Another definition, OT is a holistic approach that helps people across lifespan participate in the things they want and need to do through the therapeutic use of everyday activities. The goals of occupational therapy, assessment of task performance, cognitive functioning, psychosocial development, to recognize strengthens and ameliorate weakness and adopting to changes and promotion of recovery. Let's see the indications for occupational therapy as far as mental health is concerned. It's given for patients suffering with schizophrenia, personality disorder, severe and persistent mental illness, patients with mania, depression, anxiety disorders, clients with substance abuse, childhood and adolescent disorders and children with mental retardation. The aims of occupational therapy are social reintegration of mentally ill patients into society, provide employment in selected place for patients with mental illness, and promote client strength which can enable to regain or improve skills and develop alternate compensatory skills usual for community living. The setting, occupational therapy is provided to children, adolescents, adults and elderly patients in various settings such as mental health centers, nursing homes, rehabilitation centers, special schools and in halfway home and de-addiction centers. The services provided. People with mental illness do have disturbances in their thoughts, perception, emotions, behavior and even relationship with others and the cognitive function is impaired such as attention, memory, recall, planning, organizing, reasoning, problem solving, language problems, decision making, learning disabilities, so these patients are provided with certain services such as independent living skills, such as self-care, craft, socialization, leisure activities and education, employment and academic preparation, homemaking, child care and parenting, design fabrication and application of orthotic devices such as braces, splints, casts that are worn which increases child's ability to function physically and mentally better. And therapeutic exercises, 
and patient and family education and counseling. Occupational therapy is given as an inpatient treatment irrespective of age according to individual needs. It could be to improve the psychomotor abilities, learning gross motor skills, assisting in mobility, helping to improve self-care. You can also see the nurses here, their holistic approach in order to achieve the goal of occupational therapy. Let's see the classification of occupational therapy divided as diversional and remedial. Under diversional, it's organized gains given. Under remedial, it's like, you know, to improve the muscle groups such as basket making, weaving, carpentry, gardening, and embroidery. The process of occupational therapy intervention, it goes like that. The first, the nurse contact with the patient. She has to establish rapport with the patient. Listening skill is very important. Both verbal and nonverbal responses have to be noted. She has to be informed, the patient has to be informed about the need for occupational therapy and then get the consent of the patient. Once it is done, now the treatment process has to start, the therapy has to start as it is planned and the goals have to be, you know, established and goals have to be achieved. And once the outcome is achieved, the patient is now, if necessary, have to be referred. When the patient is sent to the community, there are community centers, whichever center the patient has to be referred to and then patient has to have a regular follow up. This is what the process of occupational therapy intervention is all about. The occupational therapy activities for different conditions for patients with depression, simple tasks which are achievable, which provide positive reinforcements such as cycling, walking, jogging. You can also give some craft works. And patients with schizophrenia, some non-competitive uh, tasks, solitary meaningful tasks which require some degree of concentration like activities of daily living, getting ready for you know, bathing, for dressing, things like that can be given to the patient. Patients with anxiety disorder, simple tasks, not more than three or four steps can be uh, learned quickly by the patient, like, you know, uh, meditation, breathing exercises for children, like, you know, fun, like uh, using this bubble. Uh, so that can be given to the uh, patient. And also like in even some kitchen tasks can be given, some simple washing can be given to the patient. And patient with mania, non-competitive activities that allow the use of energy and the expression of feelings can be given to the patient. And also patients have to work in areas away from distraction and such as, you know, painting and, you know, uh, weaving, knitting, can be also given to the patient and the sweeping like that activities can be given to the patient with mania. Patients with substance use disorders, social activities can be given and uh, interactions can, you can have interactions with patients and childhood and adolescent disorders, we can give to the child playing, you know, drawing, uh, coloring, and, uh, you know, doing some simple puzzles, things like that, you can give it to the patient. Nurse's role in occupational therapy. Nurse works as an observer, teacher, parent, supporter, guide and friend and warden. As an observer, she observes the performance, identify the adaptations and their participation during the task, assess the skill and development at play, or completing certain tasks. As a teacher, she con takes control over the whole thing. She delegates various activities to different clients. She demonstrates, she listens, and she, as a trainer, develop a competency and skill set in individual to perform any activity for effectively and efficiently. And also she has, she is effective in her communication 
and as a parent she has a good interpersonal relationship she understand the particular client and she has tolerance towards any reaction of the client she uh, you know accepts the client problems and she is a person to whom the client can easily verbalize the problems and she becomes a very confidential person and she is a supporter all through she becomes a guide and a friend and as a warden she supervises particular place or activity for enforcing the regulation associated with it she is a custodian of a particular place whenever there are uh, clients who is involved in occupational therapy she writes reports so all these are nurses role to conclude the purpose of occupational therapy in mental health is to increase the individual's ability to live as independently as possible while engaging in meaningful and productive life roles occupational therapy facilitates participation and is client centered nurses have role in providing services that support mental and physical health and wellness rehabilitation and recovery oriented approach